to accelerate that, though, I would, I would do the kind of thing that's quite hard to do in a democracy, but particularly in India's multi-party coalition democracy, which is take on the civil service and the bureaucracy and reform it. Um, and since most of your partners in your multi-party coalition um, are based, are caste parties or equivalent to caste parties, whose, if not sole raison d'etre, whose main raison d'etre is about creating more public sector jobs for people of their caste, expanding the employment reservation, which is now um, about 50% for their caste, um, it's very difficult to accomplish because that goes against their direct reason for being in government, which is patronage. Um, and, and the opportunity to urbanize people of your caste because most bureau bureaucratic jobs are in the cities. Um, uh, so that's what I do, but uh, actually doing it, you know, is, um, uh, is, is much easier said than done. Change usually happens in India um, through crab-like movements rather than direct confrontation. Um, and there are certain reforms that are happening to the state. For example, the tax collection system is being digitized um, and records are being computerized. Um, that minimizes, that reduces corruption opportunities. The more you reduce interface between, physical one-to-one -one interface between bureaucrat and citizen, um, the more you reduce corruption opportunities. Um, you know, if you can get your driving license online, you can't, you can't pay a bribe online. Um, so, but those, well, I suppose you can, actually, <laughs> sorry. Okay, Never right. underestimate, less, yeah, yeah. you know. In India, I'm sure you can play lots of, <laughs> pay lots of bribes online. But that, those kinds of changes are really taking place at the level at which the middle class in, um, interacts with the state, where the most venal sort of practices in the state are at the grassroots level, which is what your question um, refers to. What was your